Well, the Treasurer has just delivered his third budget, boasting a second surplus and power rebates for every household. But with some economists warning the extra subsidies will work against the RBA's inflation suppression strategy. The Treasurer joins me live in the studio. Third one, done and dusted. <laughs> Let me ask you, why does everyone get the $300 energy rebate? Oh, because we understand that people are under cost of living pressures uh, right up and down the income scale. Uh, and our cost of living package is about recognising those pressures people are under and doing something about it. Some of the cost of living package is broad, a tax cut for every taxpayer, uh, energy bill relief for every household, and some of it is targeted, rent assistance, a help with cheaper medicines uh, and more initiatives like that. So we've struck the right balance the here. Billionaires get it. Clive Palmer gets it. People on 40 grand a year get it. So well, well, once how's you, that equitable? Well, once you go beyond providing it to people on pensions and payments like we did last time, proudly, once you go beyond that, uh, the, the best and easiest and most efficient way is to provide it to, to every household uh, to take some of the edge off those energy bills. You're saying that you're acting on... Treasury advice that, it, that it's going to reduce inflation. Let's say the economy does prove stronger and growth it bounces back in a, in a big way. Do you accept this is a, a gamble of sorts by putting those rebates into place? Because it does give people more dollars to spend. Yeah, I don't see it that way. I'm pretty careful and cautious and conservative when it comes to spending public money. And in the context of a $2.6 trillion economy... Uh, I don't accept uh, that what we are doing is going to add to inflation. I take the Treasury view and the Treasury advice that says that uh, our budget will put downward pressure on inflation, not upward pressure on infl inflation. The way we've designed our cost of living help will take the edge off bills without adding to inflation elsewhere in the economy. $300. Uh, interestingly, $25 more than what you promised to reduce power bills by at the last election at $275. Is that symbolism important to you? Oh, that's, that hasn't been what's determined the, the sum. We've done as much help as we can afford to do in a responsible way. Uh, that number you refer to was... It neutralises a bit of politics, though, when the Coalition say, oh, you haven't done that. Well, you say, well, we've delivered $300 rebate. Yeah, and remember last time when we were delivering help, they voted against it. Uh, but the, the number you're referring to was a forecast in 21 about an outcome in 25. We're providing energy bill relief in the here and now. We did in the last budget... We are again in the next budget, but there'll be more relief for more people uh, in this budget because of the way that we have balanced responsible economic management, cost of living help and fighting inflation and investing in the future. So just a, the number was a coincidence as opposed to the previous promise? Well, we, we determined the number based on the most help that we could responsibly provide with all of the budget constraints and all of our other priorities at the same time.